frankly, if you put a chain on this, you could, it could easily be a purse. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we are going to be doing the East Saint Laurent Couture Color Clutch in Paris. So I will put above the original video where I showed you both of these in the Paris and the Paris cannot speak Paris and Marrakesh. <laughs> um, and I picked them up from Selfridges not too long ago. The Marrakesh is more of a primary color, um, a little bit more dramatic look than the Paris. The Paris has pinks, golds, and also this bright pop of yellow, which I think is kind of interesting. What I would say though, is there are no mattes in this palette. These are all shimmers. So this is gonna be interesting. Um, well, maybe the black, maybe the black isn't a shimmer, but <laughs> I don't really think I can use that as a transition color. Although actually, you know what? Let's try it. Maybe we'll try that and like just smoke it out a lot. So I already have my makeup on. I have my foundation on and my blush and a whole bunch of other stuff because today I really wanted to focus and make this a relatively short video to show you the Paris. I'm also gonna use one of the new Fenty Slip Shine Shine, one of these days I'm gonna get it right. Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. <sighs> I've already done videos with the Bubble Rum and the Cookies and Cocoa. Today I'm gonna do either the Retro Rose or Glaze. It'll depend on how the look comes out. Um, let's go in, like I said, with the, the black shade, which is the only matte as far as I can tell. And we're gonna use the Wayne Goss 03 because it's a very fluffy brush. And I think maybe I can make this a little more, a little less dramatic if I use this as my transition. I mean, it's gonna be dark, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So East Saint Laurent is a brand that I don't usually buy that much makeup from. I do like their products. Um, their designs are gorgeous. I don't uh, own any clothes from East Saint Laurent because they're insanely expensive. And um, I, you know, they're kind of known for like over the top uh, designer dresses for events. They have gorgeous gowns. I am not going any, I'm not going to any galas anytime soon. So it's not something that I really need. Um, but they do have uh, lipsticks that I have used that I actually really enjoy. Um, and there's something else by East Saint Laurent that I have. My brain is not working right now, but um, that I actually liked. The problem that I've noticed with East Saint Laurent with their eyeshadows is I have had some of their eyeshadows that I did not enjoy. They did not work well at all. So I bought this, um, these palettes knowing that there was a good chance that Frankly, the payoff would not be there, but I loved the clutches so much. The design was so gorgeous that I just decided to take a chance. And what I found in my video, if you watch the one I did, the first impressions of both of them, and I used the Marrakesh on my eyes, I'm actually very impressed. Uh, they're not as pigmented as they look, which for me is actually a good thing. I have mature skin, I'm 49 years old, and the skin of my eyelids is a little textured um, through years of allergies. I have very sensitive eyes. And actually, these buff out, as you can see with the black, really well. Um, so for me, you know, I actually like the fact that they're not super pigmented, but they're also not like blend away kind of shades. So I'm kind of in that middle place. So I have to be difficult, of course. I like really pigmented shades, but sometimes the really pigmented shades I have to be careful with because my eyes are textured and sensitive, and sometimes they can even stain my eyes or irritate my eyes or frankly be too much for the texture on my skin. Um, but I don't like shades that look really pigmented in the pan, you put them on their eye and they disappear. That's just annoying. Um, and you're not gonna spend, I mean, these are, these are pricey, these palettes are pricey, I think 
155 I think is what they are. But anyway, whatever the price is, I mean, they're expensive. So you don't want to spend a ton of money and then have them, you know, disappear on you. That's, that's unacceptable. Uh, okay, so let's go into the copper shade here on the outer part of my eye and into the crease. So as I was saying, with the Marrakesh, I found that I, I really liked um, the palettes. I hadn't used the Paris, but I assumed that the formulas would be the same, just different color story. And from what I'm finding so far, yeah, that's the case. The, the formulas are very nice, they're smooth, they go on well. I'm not having any problems with um, fallout. There's a little bit of fallout on one shade uh, in the Marrakesh, but it wasn't, you know, severe. I'm going in with that black shade to do under my eyes. Um, they are, like I said, they're blending well. They don't irritate my eyes. I, you know, good things. Uh, the thing that I would say, and I think there were some comments on either my Instagram account or here on Facebook, how often will you use these shades? And that, you know, that's a question for, for frankly, for you guys. Um, I'm going in with the copper under my eye as well. It's one of those things. Do you use only neutrals? Generally, I do. Um, if you're the kind of person that would never reach for any of these pinks or this yellow, you know, maybe this is not worth it to you. Um, but if you're willing to branch out and do a little bit of different shades and try something different, I think, I think you would really, I think you'd really enjoy these palettes. I'm going in with this kind of golden shimmer, putting it on my eyelid. Oh, that looks really pretty. Now you could definitely do like the pink look with this. You could mix them and do like the yellows with the pinks and the black. I mean, you could really go, you could go, you know, kind of not, not great, you know, just more outlandish with this. That's not just, that's not my style, but you could certainly do that if you wanted to. I mean, they're all here in the palette, so why not? Uh, I'm gonna go in with the icy, shade here it's like an icy white on the inner corner and then i'm gonna go back in with the black just a tiny bit of it to intensify this outer corner here and tie it in to the outer edge yeah i think it looks really nice this is a really pretty shadow i really like this I wonder if I take the bright yellow, I'm taking the really bright, bright yellow shade and just put it on my mobile eyelid just to see how that works. Okay, I'll bring you in a little bit closer before I put some eyeliner on and uh, the lip product so you can see it up close. Okay, so now you're in super close. <laughs> but I do want you to see, since this whole video is about the eyeshadow, I want you to see how really pigmented these are how beautiful they went on. Um, I think it's, I mean, I think they're really nice shadows. Um, I'm gonna buff this out while we're talking. I, I don't know that, you know, if I was somebody who didn't have a channel or I wasn't super into makeup, whether this is something I would say I needed. I mean, it, oh, let's face it, you don't really need any of these things, um, but I do like them and I do think they're really beautiful. The, the packaging, as I've mentioned, is stunningly gorgeous. I mean, it is. It looks like a purse. I mean, that's the point, like it's a clutch. You could literally, you could walk around with this and people would think it was a clutch, that it was a purse. Um, it's faux leather on the outside, which I personally actually like. Um, the shades are really pretty. I think they go on really well. They look nice. Um, I'm you know, gonna play around with it obviously a lot more and play around with the um, the pink shades in here, which I think um, will be beautiful. As you saw from the swatches, you know, that bright pink is really, it's actually very pretty. Um, I don't usually do pink, but I think, you know, it would make a, a bright pink look. I think it would be nice. Um, there is a tiny bit of fallout here that I will, yep, same as the uh, Marrakesh, just wipes away. 
All right, so we're gonna use uh, the Tom Ford Eye Coal Intense in Espresso as a liner. Well, let's just put that on the top. And I'm just running it very close to the lash line. I don't need a lot here. I think the gold shade stands out on its own and I don't really wanna take away from that. Um, the coal liners, by the way, by Tom Ford are great. And it's funny because I think back, uh, I've been thinking back a little bit more to the 80s lately, and the coal liners, you know, people used to put the coal liner on their eye and smudge it out and actually use it as eyeshadow. Because the thing about coal is you can do that. Um, these liners are very similar to that kind of thing. You can put them on your eye, use them as liner, but then smudge them out to make a, a smoky eye. They're really good liners uh, and I, I really enjoy them. I wish there was actually more colors. Okay, so that's the final look for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on some mascara. I don't have the E. Saint Laurent mascara, so I don't have that, but I'll just use, a, I'll just use one of my, my mascaras. I finally remembered what YSL product that I love, which is the Touche Eclat. I don't know why it left my brain. Um, but that's the under eye brightener pen. That thing is awesome. Um, if I hadn't already set my eyes with powder, I would use it, but it is really great. It literally lightens up your eyes. I've had it for years. Um, not this particular one, but I've been using it for years. Uh, and I also have the Touche Eclat High Cover Radiant Concealer, which is like the newer version of it. Um, comes in these pens, you basically click it. There's a little brush at the end, you put it under your eyes. It works extremely well. They have a foundation that works really well. I, I knew there was like, I was like, you say Laurent, I know there's a couple of products that I like, but I don't know why my brain wasn't working. Um, but like I said, their eyeshadows have been hit or miss. So let me uh, put on the mascara and we'll be right back. Okay, mascara is on. I really like these eyeshadows. I know I've said it a couple of times now, but I just, I think they're very pretty. Um, I like the look. I like the formula. Okay, so let's use the Fenty Slip Shine, Slip Shine Cheer Shiny Lipstick. I think that's close. Uh, in glazed. And I'll put on a liner or a root if I need to. That's what the glaze looks like on its own. I think it's a little pink for the look. I'm gonna go in with the Sicily Chocolate and just Chocolat. There you go, I think that's better. I think they're, I think it's still probably a little too peachy, a little too pink for this eye look, but I think it works. I mean, overall, I think it looks nice. And really, this was about the eyeshadow palette, <laughs> not really the lips. So my final thoughts are, guys, I, I really love the Yves Saint Laurent Couture color clutches. I think both Paris and Marrakesh were beautifully done. I, I think the shades are a little unusual the way they put the color stories together, but I actually like them. I've played it safe uh, this time. I kind of went in with the, the golden, the warmer uh, kind of shades and I didn't you know, mix the pinks and the purple and the yellow, but I think you definitely could if that's something that you like to do. Uh, and then I think you could also go in and do an all pink and purple kind of eye, a much cooler eye, which I'll definitely do in the future to play around and see how it looks. But I'm loving the formula. I love the shades. As I've said, the packaging is gorgeous. So definitely a win. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I appreciate it. If you are so inclined, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in another video really soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.